Good morning, fellow Wedge Shavers. Brian here, the Wedge Shave Experience. Thanks for tuning in today. Today, I will be using Noble Otters the night before, along with a matching splash. I decided I'm gonna try to switch it up a little bit with the razor. This is the King C Gillette that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use it with a Voxshod blade and try that. Uh, that was generally generously sent to me in my package from the Handlebar Supply, uh, where I got the night before from. And um, what else? Got my bowl. Anyways, um, this showed up really quick. I know post office is crazy. If you saw my unboxing last night, which I posted late, uh, I didn't post it till like after the kids were to bed, my wife had fallen asleep and I got a chance to do it. So anyways, um, that went up late last night, but this came rather quickly. I kind of ordered it. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out the smell on this, to be honest with you. I, I think I like it. I'm gonna have to lather it up and use it. It's pretty light, um, but let me kind of backtrack a second. Anyways, I got this um, from the Handlebar Supply. I ordered it on Sunday night, they shipped it out Monday, and it arrived yesterday. So, uh, granted they're in California and I'm in Oregon, so that's really quick. I know there's a lot of shipping issues out there. I hope everybody gets their packages eventually. Uh, I have one package from Declaration that uh, has, uh, I've looked at the tracking, it went from like two places in Michigan to like Tucson, Arizona, to Phoenix, Arizona, to Seattle. Uh, last I checked, it was in Portland. Still don't know when it's gonna arrive here in Eugene. I've got a package from uh, the Razor Company that hasn't been scanned since like the 10th of uh, December uh, that started on the 2nd of December. And it's, I have no idea where that is. No fault of the Artisan or the, um, or the Razor Company, just the way shipping is. So I was super surprised and happy that I was able to get this in essentially uh, three days. So, um, sent on this. I've seen a lot of videos on it already. A lot of folks have been using it, I'm kind of late to the game on it. But uh, pink peppercorn, balsam fir, mistletoe, rosemary, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, super cool label as is typical with Noble Otter. Definitely a unique red tub, so that's pretty cool. Um, I do like how they have the side label with the ingredients or the um, scent notes and the ingredients on it. And so I will be using the scent is off the puck is pretty light. I would say three, maybe pushing a four. Um, I've heard some folks say that the late most recent Noble Otter releases have been pretty light in scent. I do have Firefighter. I agree that it's light, but it's definitely not as light as this. So hopefully it opens up a little bit in the lathering. I get a little bit more on the aftershave in terms of scent strength, so I'm looking forward to trying that at the end and evaluating that. All right, so I'm gonna lather up and I will be right back. Hey, and I am back. All right, so I'm gonna use the Gillette King C. So this razor is a three-piece razor, one, two, three. If you haven't seen this before, I picked this up, I <laughs> picked it up at the, uh, my local Walgreens. Uh, Picked it up, that my first shaver was the Mercure 34C, but I picked this up shortly after. I think they had just recently, and there goes the top cap. <clears throat> um, I think they had just recently come out, and I think it's kind of a big deal a little bit to get a DE razor in a you know local drugstore anymore. I mean, you don't, you just don't see a lot of that out there so that's kind of cool for wet shaving, I guess, in general. It's got that um, King C logo kind of etched on the top cap, which is kind of cool. I've used this before. It's, it's a fairly mild shaver. I would put it on par with the Mercure in terms of, uh, you know, aggression being mild and um, efficiency. The one thing I wish is that the knurling went all the way down. Um, it's decent knurling. It's not very deep. Uh, so I think the handle could have been could have been um, created and designed a little bit better, uh, but it's got good weight to it. It does have a longer handle, so I'm gonna get to the shave now. Wet the face there, but overall it's a pretty good shaver. It's like $29.99, um, and they even sell the the King C blades, 
which I use and I've gone through those now. Um, blades are pretty decent. I think there was some speculation on who was making this for Gillette. Um, but anyways, I don't know if it's German made or part of it is or what. So the scent on this, um, got a fairly decent amount of lather there. It did open up a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what exactly, I mean, I shouldn't say, uh, I don't want it to come off, to come off wrong. I'm just, it's, it's well blended and I don't know, like, to be honest, all the scent notes, like I don't really know exactly what frankincense or myrrh like smells like in and of themselves. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to say exactly what I'm picking up. Uh, I mean, it's well blended. I get a little bit. I don't really get the peppercorn much or at all. Um, a little bit of the fur. What I'm really happy with though, is that this does not smell like a candle or the candle store or potpourri or a Christmas tree. And some of you, if that's your vibe, if that's your, if that's your thing, if you're, that's what you dig, man, awesome. That is really cool. For me, that's just not my thing. And so some of the holiday scents, when I look at them, I was a little leery of them just because those just aren't in my scent profiles. Like I, I don't like, I, I don't know, call me, call me uh, the Grinch, but I mean, I just, th those holiday scents like around Thanksgiving or, or when you get those cinnamon scented pine cones, or the potpourri, the, the Thanksgiving or Christmas potpourri. It's just not my thing. Um, and so anyway, so I'm glad that this doesn't necessarily smell like that. I mean, I get, I get the Christmas. So there's enough Christmas in here to satisfy my Christmas curiosity, but it's not overly um, Christmas tree-like. You know, some of those scents I like, but then I ask myself, do I want to smell like that all day? You know, like, uh, for example, uh, PAA's Cosmic Christmas Cookies. It looks like a really cool scent. I love the smell of cookies, but do I want to smell like that the whole day? So that's some of my um, reservations in buying some of these soaps, but I'm glad I bought this one. I do like Noble Otter. It's got a nice, I would say mellow um, scent to it. So if you're looking for something Christmas, but you don't want to be overly um, overly bright uh, or overly Christmas tree, then this may this may be the one for you. It's still available at a lot of places I know. All right, let's just get to it. Yeah, and King C is super mild. Not really any blade feel or much blade feel. So like I said, on par with like a, you have to, nice amount of soap there. On par with a Mercure, I think, in that sense. And I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, $29.99. Hey, in an Oregon, we don't have sales tax. So when it's $29.99, it's really $29.99. Vokshad Blade seems to be working just fine in it as well. Anyways, I didn't buy a lot of seasonal releases. I didn't buy a lot of the Thanksgiving. Like I didn't want to smell like pumpkin pie or cranberry. And again, not, not, if that's your vibe, awesome. I mean, that's, that's what makes this hobby great. There's so many different scents available out there and there's something for everybody. So I didn't buy any of the pumpkin stuff that came out for, I bought some, I bought some Halloween releases for the Halloween stuff, but 
Most of those actually weren't necessarily Halloween scents, even though the labels were Halloween. But I didn't buy a lot of the pumpkin stuff or nutmeg or cinnamon forward uh, scents. I saw a lather hog, uh, Jonathan, do a, a video on this soap the other day, and I think he also commented on uh, kind of the low scent strength on the soap. I would say probably on a scale of one to 10, scent strength wise, I'm gonna probably say, I'm gonna give this like a three, pushing, I think four might be pushing it. Somewhere in between three and four. I mean, it's there, it's not unscented. It's definitely um, stronger than if any of you got um, BBS's Live Duo. That was super lightly scented. I think this beats that in terms of scent strength. All right, across the grain. Get this part. And around the nose. So this is my first holiday season in wet shaving since I just started in June. So, I mean, it is really cool to see like all the stuff that comes out. I, I think when I, I first got into it, it was like June and you know, there really, I mean, 4th of July was coming up, but there really weren't any holidays. And I mean, I thought there were a ton of like options then. I mean, and there's, I mean, there's so much stuff that I think I'm in the, you know, experimental try phase, obviously. Um, you know, it's, it's like a kid in a candy store, really. I mean, it's like, wow, I'll try that. Ooh, that looks cool. Wow, that scent on that looks great. That razor looks awesome. Um, so, you know, I'm still in the kind of the, the eyes wide open in wonder <laughs> stage. But I was surprised at how many things were came out like for Halloween or for fall, then Halloween, and then for Thanksgiving. It's like just when you think you've got what you need for now, there's another release. And you're like, Ooh, what do I do now? What do I do now? Do I get it? Do I not get it? Can I not get it? If I don't get it, do I miss out? Will it come back? I don't know. And on top of that, all the friends I've made and folks uh, I talk to, uh, groups I'm in, are full of enablers, let me tell you that. Full of enablers. which is, which is fun. So I wasn't gonna probably buy this actually. I was gonna pass on it. 
I was gonna pass on all the Christmas ones, actually. I did get a Christmas shave from First Line, but that one didn't have, had a Christmas label, but was not necessarily a Christmas scent. But then I'm in a, in a group on Facebook and I feel like everybody in the group had it. I have fear of missing out. So I got it. And I'm glad I did, it's, it's good. So I'm gonna blame this one on Eric, the meticulous shaver. That's, I'm putting this square on your shoulders, buddy. I think he was my main enabler. Eric does a lot of videos for West Coast Shaves channel. And he goes by the meticulous shaver on Instagram. So thank you, Eric. I owe this to you. And hey, I'm just, I'm happy with it actually. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off here. So the King C, definitely a mild, medium efficient shaver. Not really much blade feel, so if you like mild razors, <clears throat> don't need a lot of blade feel, and um, have probably average to medium efficiency, and you haven't tried this, $29.99, $29 I don't think you can go wrong, and you can probably find it at your local Walgreens, which there's, like, I don't know, 10,000 plus of them around the country, so chances are there's one in your neighborhood. All right, so let's uh, let's try to splash. Let me try my face a little bit more. Definitely a stronger scent on the scent strength on the splash. Splash feels good. It has alcohol, but I, I don't really have any burning. I definitely get more of the, probably, let me look at the scent notes there. I definitely get more of the fur, the balsam fur, um, and probably, I, you know, I can't remember what mistletoe smells like, but definitely more of the green, like fur or mistletoe. I don't really know what frankincense and myrrh smell like, so I don't really know how to say whether this ha has that vibe or not. So yeah, definitely more Christmassy on the splash. Definitely probably maybe uh, four or five on the splash scent strength. Uh, splash feels pretty good on my face. Does have alcohol, but it didn't burn and um, absorbs in real nice. Okay, there you have it. The Night Before by Noble Otter. Oh, I know what I forgot I, earlier my PAA Aerolite brush when I was looking at, around at my sink wondering what am I missing? That's what I was missing in the beginning. All right, so hope everybody has a great day. And um, if you're new here, thanks for watching. And I hope you consider subscribing below. If you've been here before and you made it this far, thanks for watching. Do truly appreciate it. And I will see you soon.